Bravery is um, definitely one thing that will help you go to the next level. You won't be a professional goalkeeper if you're not brave. But if it's something you want, you definitely should strive for it and drive for it and um, you know, do everything you possibly can to, to achieve it. If you want to make that next step to be a professional, you have to be able to kick the ball both feet. So everything that they do over there, you need to be able to do as well as stopping balls. We can do some sessions where I may only catch the ball 20 times, but I've kicked the ball 100 times because in a game, generally, I'm actually using my feet more than my hands. We have Danny Milosevic, who's a really good coach. We focus on the team we're playing, how they play, and what scenarios we might see in that game. So, you know, if we're playing a team that crosses the ball a lot from deep, we'll work on that that week at training. Early in my career, we just did goalkeeper training and it didn't matter who you were playing, it was goalkeeping work. So the game's evolved that way. It's always good like when you make a couple of saves and you're called upon, but I much prefer games where I don't touch the ball. When you're a goalkeeper, you've really got to marshal that defence. Those boys in front of you, if they're blocking shots, they're actually helping you keep a clean sheet. If you can organise your defence and remind them as a the player, left shoulder, right shoulder, just little information, little bits of information that's only going to help you make easier saves because the player will be under pressure. If you make a mistake, just get rid of it because you can't then let that affect the rest of your game. The last thing you want is to make a mistake and then you dwell on it and keep thinking about it because then that will result in you making another mistake, another one, another one, and in the end coaches will go, very good keeper, but if he makes a mistake, he can't focus and he's done. You take a goal kick and you want to hit the left back, okay? Say you scuff it and it goes to the striker. And the striker comes on and he has a shot and he misses. No problem. If that same option's on again to hit that left fullback and you've still got to clip it over, have the courage to, to knock that ball because it's the right pass. That's the ball that's there to be played. Play it. The coach will look at that and go, you know what? I like that, you know, he's made a mistake there, but he still sees the picture that that's the right ball and he's had enough courage to play the ball again. That's something you can go away and ask your coach, can I be in the possession drills because it's going to help you, but it's also going to help the team in the long run. It's very fun. It makes us become a better goalkeeper, it gives us new techniques to do. And it makes it like easier for us to get down and save, make it something in our mind that we can keep on doing on repeat. Every time you train, train at 100%. Learn, listen to coaches, Enjoy it. If you enjoy it, you're going to have a better chance of succeeding.